Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me and this is the first ever street news episode from Scotland. I know we've got a lot of Scottish subscribers and I appreciate all of you guys and I hope that you've enjoyed learning more about England and Ireland and different areas but now I want to show England and the rest of the world some stories from Scotland so feel free to send me all your stories good bad and the ugly everything in between we have to thank Alistair Clark from the Edinburgh Live newspaper for allowing us to use the footage from the siege that went on in Kirk Cowdy. Police in riot gear surrounded a block of flats during an ongoing incident that occurred at 12.45 on Sunday, 21st of June, 2020. Police surrounded the block and was there for a long time. A man was arrested follow, uh, at an address on Urn Road. They had alerts of a man being attacked on Lawson Street earlier in that day. The alleged assailant ran off armed with an offensive weapon to this block of flats. Eyewitness reports seeing at least 15 police officers and a number of police vehicles at the scene. One passerby told Edinburgh Live that it's very strange. There is a high police presence in the area surrounding the block of flats. Officers on the scene advised onlookers to stand clear of the building. A number of police officers were dressed in full riot gear, speaking to a resident on the first floor. Officers attended and advised the attacker was armed with a weapon. They searched the area and located a man in a property on Urn Road and specially trained officers negotiated with him. This guy had a weapon and he was refusing to surrender to the police. So this situation, and he may have actually had people around him where the police thought it was a danger. And Scottish police are under a lot of pressure. They do get a lot of violent attacks in Scotland. In this other story that I'm going to speak about in a moment, two police officers were attacked with a meat cleaver just a week ago on the, tw on the 15th of June. I'll be referencing the newspaper, the daily record for this story. A man has actually been charged now, but we've got footage from the scene. It was filmed on a potato, but we actually do at least get a context of what happened. Police Scotland confirmed they now arrested a 25-year-old man in relation to a serious assault on two police. The two officers were returning a 10-year-old boy to an address in Greenfield Drive on Sunday when they was approached by a 25-year-old man. There is no exact idea as if this is the the the, the father of the child or, or a relative one constable who was aged 24 years old he suffered a serious hand injury that was caused by the bladed weapon while colleague another colleague uh, sustained a serious head injury <laughs> Both men were taken to University Hospital in Wishaw following the incident where their condition is described as stable. Police Scotland confirmed that a 25-year-old man has now been charged with the incident, but they don't specify what charges because technically this could be attempted murder, really. They was in uniform as well and they was hailed for their bravery by their local commander, Chief Inspector Mark Leonard. He said both officers were simply doing their job and suddenly found themselves dealing with an incident that was completely unexpected. 
Every police officer knows the circumstances of every incident they attend and could change quickly and they are well trained to deal with this. However, the reality of the situation requires a great amount of alertness, professionalism and also bravery. And this definitely has to ring bells and similarities to the other day, the murder that I covered in Ireland in the murder of the Guardi there. And there's been also an attack on police in the Hackney area of London as well. So you can see that no matter where we are in the United Kingdom, everyone can relate in, in some sort of way to what is going on. So I really appreciate you joining me for this update and don't forget to send me your stories if you work for the paper, if you're a journalist and you, and you want some promotion and I'll give you all a shout out. I always credit everybody for any footage that you send. So don't forget to try and have a good day, productive and thank you again and I'll be back again very soon. Peace.